So Vex's syndrome is a newly discovered disorder that is characterized by both hematological and rheumatological features. Uh, it's been discovered only in 2020, so we know very little so far, but uh, um, most that has been discovered pertains to its uh, um, biological uh, underpinnings. In particular, we know that uh, Vex's uh, is uh, due to somatic, so not inherited, but acquired during the li lifespan uh, of uh, a muta somatic mutation of UBA1 gene. And uh, this gene uh, is responsible for encoding uh, the E1 enzyme uh, and ultimately for controlling the ubiquitination system of the cell. Perturbation of this system lead to hyperinflammation and hypercytokinemia that is typical of patients with vexus that have autoinflammatory symptoms and in particular also anemia, that is what um, hematologists uh, um, uh, care about. Also patients with vexus uh, um, uh, are often diagnosed with the mild dysplastic syndrome in about half of cases. And this uh, obviously opens for uh, opportunity uh, such as uh, therapeutic uh, uh, implication uh, like transplant uh, in uh, eligible cases and um, uh, therapeutic strategies that are borrowed from the myelodysplastic syndrome realm.